What is going on guys? Welcome back. Abel here, STL Tones. Today we're going to be taking a look at your August update for the Amp Hub plugin. You guys are getting a new amplifier. This one is the Meridian 65 Plus based on the Monstrous 6505 Plus from PB, uh, that amp head. I used to have one of these. I had the Lunchbox one. Sounded really good. No clue why I sold it, but uh, I wish I still had it. But lucky for me, they just added it to Amp Hub, so I get to play with it in here. Uh, signal chain for this is going to be this minus Dubelli Elite. It's got Seymour Duncan pickups in it, Nazgul on the bridge, and a sentient in the neck. We're going into the Universal Audio Aero interface, and we're going to be running directly into Cubase. So without further ado, let's hop on screen and check out the sand. All right, so as you can see, very PV-esque in its appearance. Got the STL in the center. We all know what that means. And then you got the Meridian 65 Plus, signifying that 6505 Plus. Uh, you've got two channels. You've got two independent uh, power section controls, which is pretty cool. I don't normally see that on amplifiers, but when you switch the channel, you can uh, it'll automatically switch to the different uh, power section setting, which is awesome. Uh, most I think most amplifiers have a global. So, um, And on the clean section, you do have bright and crunch. I don't have my glasses on and I can't see because I'm blind. So yes, I had to stare at the screen to see what it said. But uh, you got the bright and you have the crunch, which we are going to be listening to in a second. Of course, let's start off with the lead channel. You got a rhythm and you've got a lead channel on this one. Uh, the rhythm, I'm gonna do my best. I'm pretty sure you can clean it up. Pretty sure you can really gain down, probably split the coil on your pickups and get a clean tone if you want it. With that said, I don't think anyone's seeking out a 6505 plus for the clean channel or for clean tones, I should say. So let's check this thing out. Now, obviously, as they say, an amplifier should sound really good with everything at noon, right? Without having to tweak a bunch of stuff, an amp should sound good right out of the box. Let's see if that rings true. Let's check it out. That actually sounds really, really good and exactly like I remember my uh, my Lunchbox 6505. I, it obviously wasn't as powerful being the smaller amplifier, but it still sounds very similar. And we have the gain right at noon, which is giving us kind of like a somewhat approaching chuggy territory, but it's really good rock tone. I mean, just listen to this. Sounding really good without really doing anything at all. Of course, for science, right out of the gate, we have to blast the gain knob and see what happens. Kind of knew that was gonna happen. It gets very soft and mushy on the bottom end when you blast it like that, but it sounds really good like this. Um, all right, I guess we'll just get some EQ really quick going here. Oh yeah, really quick to note, cabinet section. This is what mine looks like. If you guys want the same cabinet section, let's say you're struggling with IRs. I know sometimes it can be intimidating with all of the cabinets and microphones and placements and such. Uh, and you just kind of want to click into something. If you want it to sound like this, I would click on Red Beast, the preset. That's you guys all have it in your amp up. And then I would go here and then just manually change it to the Meridian 65. When you do that, you'll have the 65 amplifier and you'll have the cabinet section. 65 plus, sorry. Um, so if and, and then, so you'll be set up essentially. You'll have the cabinet section the way that I have it set up. And I personally think it sounds good. And if you agree, that's a quick way to just kind of snap in and start playing. So let's get some EQ going here. Let's cut some mid, boost a little high. I don't know if you guys remember. Do you guys remember the practice amplifier from PV, the Rage 158? Uh, that was my first amplifier. And this is how I always had it set up. Gosh, it was terrible tone. I mean, like it was solid state. The, it sounded chainsaw, but at the time, Boy, that I think it sounded really, really good. Boy, sound, boy, did I think it sounded, why does that not sound right to me anyway? But at the time, I thought it was like the best tone ever. Uh, all right, let's check this out. Mm -hmm. 
jackpot. That sounds really good. If you take the gain and just barely clock it up a little bit, you are straight up metalcore territory and it sounds amazing. Sounds good. I'm gonna boost a little bit of that bottom end. A little buzz going on. Hop into my stomp boxes. I'm gonna turn that on. And what better setup than the classic 808 overdrive and a 6505 plus? Let's check this out. Let's gain down so we don't get super mushy on it. Let's hear it. See, this is when things get dangerous for me because I can just completely forget that I'm filming a video and start jamming. This sounds absolutely sick. We're on the lead channel, so let's hit some effects really quick. I already have something set up. Just a delay and reverb, nothing crazy. And uh, let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> That sounds really good. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys recognize what solo this is. Kind of like a name that tune type of thing. Let me see if you can recognize it. Let me know. Sounding absolutely sick. All right, let's check out the rhythm section. Let's not leave this guy untouched. Let's go here. Lights up green. Don't forget we have a bright and a crunch to play with on this one. Let's pre-gain up and let's see what this one sounds like right out of the box. Let's shut off the pedal and the effects.
bright, engaged. This is the crunch off. Crunch on. I don't know why that run always gives me the stank face. Sounds good. All right, um, let's turn the crunch off. Let's gain down. Let's see how clean we can get this bad boy. Sounds really good clean, um, and you can clean it up pretty good. It does have a distinct tone, uh, having all of the gain ripped out and then having the post put up. Obviously, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna be clicking into this amplifier because you're looking for stellar clean tone. You're gonna be looking for a really good distorted tone, whether that be lead, metal, rock, rhythm, whatever it may be. So let's head back over to the lead. That sounds so sick with effects, man. It's such a killer lead tone. All right, but oh, it sounds so good. Keep in mind, I haven't even messed with the the power section at all, which I can do just to show you what it does. But this sounds so killer, I probably wouldn't. But here, let's hear what it does. It 
Funny how it doesn't really like do anything until you get to the top half of that range. Well, I Funny. I like it there at noon though, to be honest with you. This sounds so good. Sounds so sick. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me. As always, if you guys are watching this video now, that means this is now live and available for download over at stltones.com. So head over there, update your plugin, and you're gonna have this bad boy in your amplifier collection. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like, that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you see all the new videos and products that STL Tones is rolling out. My name is Abel Hernandez, and I will catch you guys on the next video.